Hello everyone and welcome to The Order. Today I'll be showing you how to clean your PC from dust. First you may want to go to my basic PC disassembly tutorial, it will show you the proper way to take apart your PC for cleaning and or maintenance. Now I have seen several cleanup videos where people use a compressor or a leaf blower to remove the dust from their systems without disassembling any of the components. This is not an appropriate method to clean your PC because a lot of the dust is left inside of the case, the slots and the ports and if you aren't careful the high pressure stream may damage your components. The right way to clean your PC is to disassemble it, clean each component individually and then reassemble it. Here are the tools that you will need. You will need an ESD wristband, a pair of ESD gloves, a Phillips head screwdriver, a dust cloth, a can of compressed air, an ESD brush and you can also get some plastic trays to sort your screws. Now here are a few warnings. Be careful with the compressed air and the brush. Don't blow the components at full pressure and be very gentle with the brush otherwise you can damage your components. Keep the can of compressed air horizontal otherwise the chemicals inside may spill out and damage your components. And also remember to ground yourself. For the cleanup I personally use the sweep brush sweep method. First do a rough sweep of the components with the compressed air to remove the majority of the dust. Then do a fine and thorough cleanup with the ESD brush. And finally do a complete sweep of the components with the compressed air. This method applies mostly for ESD sensitive components. First I like to start off with the case. Now the case basically doesn't have any components which are statically sensitive. Now some cases have fan controllers, SD card readers and others but this simply is a basic case. Now take the can of compressed air and remove the majority of the dust. Then take the dust cloth and proceed to wipe down the interior and exterior of the case. Now even though I said that the case is not ESD sensitive, keep the front panel connectors aside and finally do a final sweep of the case with the compressed air. For the case fans and fans in general I have made two in-depth tutorials which describe how to disassemble and clean them, you can go and check them out. Now I'm going to start cleaning the ESD sensitive components. First let's clean up the motherboard. First mount the protective plastic cover on the socket, this way larger chunks of dust won't be able to get inside. If you don't have the plastic cover simply leave the CPU mounted in like I have. Then take the can of compressed air and do a sweep of the board. Then check for spots for leftover dust and take the ESD brush and gently begin cleaning. And then do a fine sweep with the compressed air. After that remove the plastic cover or the CPU from the socket and gently clean it with the can of compressed air. But do not use the ESD brush. The RAM sticks are cleaned basically the same way. First with the compressed air and then with the brush and with the air once again. The same goes for the hard drive and the optical drive. In order to clean your graphics card you need to disassemble it. I will not show the disassembly procedure because it's quite simple, I need to remove only 4 screws but different GPUs have different disassembly procedures. After you remove your cooler, proceed to the cleanup. You can also check out my thermal compound tutorial, it will show you the proper way to apply thermal compound to your CPU and GPU. The PSU is a bit more tricky, you have to remove its housing by removing a couple of screws in order to reach the components inside. But be very careful, there may be some high voltage capacitors that may still be charged. In my PSU diagnostic tutorial I have demonstrated how to insulate yourself. After opening the housing, repeat the sweep brush sweep method and the fan maintenance procedure. Cleaning the box cooler is simple. Release two clips on both sides at the bottom and remove the radiator from the fan. And so, this is the correct way to clean your PC components from dust. If you have any tech related questions feel free to send them in, like, comment and subscribe for more tech videos. This is the Tech Order, signing out.